So today in our group discussion, we just want to talk about the great monk, great Indian monk and philosopher Swami Vivekananda. Just we want to refer his interesting and rare incident. So let's start our discussion. So good evening everyone. Today our topic is some interesting facts of Swami Vivekananda, our great Indian monk and philosopher. Yes, in my opinion, Swami Vivekananda is a was a great Indian monk and philosopher and also a scholar. When Narendra Dutt became a monk, he took the name Swami Vivekananda. He was a great Indian monk and philosopher. His birthday was celebrated as a national youth day in every year. He had an impressive speech reading ability and he was a music lover. And he was a great spiritual leader of all of time. So I think Swami Vivekananda plays an important role in our youth society. So Swami Vivekananda was a great monk of our India. Uh, not only in our India, he is famous in the whole world as a great philosopher also. In, from, in the childhood, he was uh, too naughty. And he used to uh, play with his friends uh, in uh, uh, many places. And uh, he uh, used to climb a tree of uh, his neighbor's house um, in his childhood. But the neighbor, uh, the neighbor uh, did not like, like, like th that. So uh, he told uh, all the children that uh, there is a ghost in the uh, tree. And uh, the all ch children become became very afraid, and they avoid to uh, climb the tree. But uh, one day, Vivekananda uh, Vivekananda's friend saw that Vivekananda was climbing the uh, was sitting on the uh, top of the tree. Uh, at that time, his friend said to him that uh, what uh, he was doing there, uh, what he was doing there. The, at that time, Swami Vivekananda said that uh, he don't he uh, did not believe uh, in any ghost because uh, he is sitting uh, he was sitting from a uh, long time there and uh, he is still alive. So it is totally fake. This uh, this from this incident we uh, can understand how intelligent and sharp he was from his childhood. In our group discussion, I want to sh uh, share the interesting stories of um, Swami Vivekananda. Uh, the first one is the uh, once a professor asked Swami, uh, asked Swami that suppose you are going somewhere and you saw a sack of wealth and a sack of knowledge. Uh, then the uh, professor asked what will you choose? Uh, then Swami uh, said that I will choose the sack of um, uh, wealth. Uh, then the uh, professor told that I knew that you will choose um, uh, the sack of uh, wealth, but I will choose the knowledge. Then uh, Swami replied that uh, who have lack of which he will take that one. So you have choose the knowledge. And the second one is... Uh, once in a religious conference, uh, Swami went and he saw that there were so many religious books were kept one by one and in the bottom there was uh, the Hindu religious book Gita. Uh, then Swami felt that it is very much insulting but he took it in a positive way and said that it is a good foundation for all the religious books. So that's the story. So as we all know that Swami Vivekananda was a great monk and philosopher. So I will share with you about uh, him two incidents that uh, he is known to us uh, for his uh, special skills uh, and uh, especially for the English speech that uh, he gave in the Chicago and uh, is still now very much famous to all of us. 
but uh, you are uh, surprised to hear this that in the BA examination, Swami Vivekananda uh, English marks uh, used to used uh, to be around fifty percent. And the second incident is uh, that uh, Swami Vivekananda one uh, in our life periods um, took a lots of uh, books from a library and all these books he returned uh, from the next day. So to hear, see this, uh, one day uh, li uh, the librarian picked all the books and uh, told Swami Vivekananda that you uh, took this book and also it, you returned all this book on the next day. How is it possible? So then uh, the, the librarian uh, to test him, uh, uh, so librarian asked some question. Swami Vivekananda and Swami Vivekananda answered all these questions uh, very properly and nicely and the librarian was am amazed. Uh, we know that uh, Swami Vivekananda uh, is a great uh, monk of our India. So uh, today I will share uh, two inter uh, interesting incidents uh, from his life. Uh, the first one is, uh, we all know that uh, Swami Vivekananda's father uh, was a great lawyer. So, uh, several meetings were happened in their house. So, uh, as uh, the meeting happened, uh, there are, uh, they organized Huko as well. So, one day, uh, Swami Vivekananda sh uh, saw that there are uh, different parts of uh, Huko was organized in the drawing room. So uh, he asked one uh, one of his uncle that uh, why uh, this is uh, organized like this. Then um, uh, then his uncle answered that uh, yeah, it is uh, there are some who goes for Muslims, there are um, uh, some for uh, Hindus, and some for others. So uh, a question uh, arises uh, in his mind. Um, one day he uh, he uh, went to the uh, drawing room and uh, smoked all of the all of the hookahs and uh, her, his father saw that uh, then he asked his father that uh, all are same uh, what uh, what, it, what happened if i uh, if i smoke from the uh, muslims one then uh, uh, then his father told that uh, yeah, it is uh, it is for different cast and if we uh, if uh, you uh, Smoke from the other part, then your caste will do it. Then um, Swami Vivekananda replied that uh, I I have smoked from all the other parts. Uh, nothing happened to me. So what is the difference? Then uh, her, his father understood the matter and uh, um, agree with him. And the second one is uh, when he came touch uh, with uh, he came touching with. Uh, Ram Krishna Dev. Once uh, he went to Lokranasha Kali Temple and uh, told Ram Krishna that um, I I I would uh, go to uh, Mahakali's temple and I, I I would ask for money and all of the material things. Then um, uh, Ram Krishna Dev told, uh, okay, uh, you uh, okay, you go and ask for the material things, but. Um, when he, uh, when he went in the uh, temple, uh, he just asked for uh, he just asked for intelligence, kindness, and all all these things. Uh, he came back and asked Ram Krishna that why uh, this happened to uh, why this is happening to me. This uh, this is happening to me. And again and again he uh, he just went and asked for intelligence, kindness, and uh, like this. So. Uh, the Ram Krishna uh, didn't uh, told anything to him that day. He just smiled. But after uh, some uh, after some time, uh, he understood the matter by himself. I would like to say that uh, Swami Gandhi, we all know, we know that he said that Jiva uh, Prem College is a service But he also said that uh, what is living being uh, to get the God. Uh, he said that if I get the get the God uh, by sacrificing human's life instead of God, then I agree with it. Um, he said about Jesus that if he alive, then he uh, would uh, wash his uh, feet with his blood of his chest. Um, um, he uh, came to Ram Krishna and said that 
uh, do you have any proof that uh, they have any god or something? Ram, uh, Ramakrishna then said that I myself uh, is a example of existence of God. Then uh, the Shaivagandha uh, initiation from Ramakrishna. After initiation from Ramakrishna, uh, he when left the ashram, he ate mutton and fishes, etc. Then um, he got past proposal on Nivedita. He uh, liked to eat fish, especially Elish. Uh, even uh, the day uh, on, on his uh, death day, he also eat this. Uh, he loved to eat Khichri and he uh, wrote many books like um, uh, Raj Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, etc. And he died on 19th to 4th July, his birthday. Uh, celebrate we all as a national year. That's it. Okay, so everybody has spoken about Swami Vivekananda, uh, and uh, we all know that how uh, significant the character of his, and even the birthday of him is uh, celebrated as the National Youth Day, and uh, we all know that he was a uh, very bra uh, brave kid from his childhood when uh, his friends were uh, afraid of ghosts and witches, he showed them that uh, there is nothing and all of these are nonsense. He has a clear, uh, mindful, uh, clear and great mind about uh, Hinduism and uh, he doesn't follow any kind of traditional path that usually other monks uh, took. Even uh, and, uh, according to his intelligent guy from his childhood but his academic results were not so great but we all know that uh, he, uh, though his academic results were not so great he gave a tremendous great speech in Chicago and uh, he spread the Hinduism at uh, uh, the uh, national international level and about the interesting facts related to the Swami Vivekananda I am going to add two more with them um, once upon a time, the, uh, once uh, when Swami Vivekananda was in a uh, conversation with uh, his friends and Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa Dev, which was who was his uh, religious teacher, and uh, Ramakrishna Paramahansa Dev told all, uh, Vivekananda and all of his friends to uh, bring uh, some rice uh, tomorrow, and uh, after that, when uh, all the disciples of the uh, Ramakrishna Paramahansa Dev Along with uh, Vivekananda went to their house, um, they started uh, to collect uh, some rice and uh, Ramakrishna Paramahansa Dev told uh, all the disciples to uh, collect the rice in such a manner that no one can see you. Um, so all of, uh, after one day when all of the disciples of him uh, came in, the, in his house uh, with some rice, uh, Ramakrishna Paramahansa Dev saw that Vivekananda had not collected any amount of rice. So he uh, told Vivekananda, why have, you not, uh, why have you not done this work which is given by me? Vivekananda told that um, the, uh, God is everywhere. So uh, it's right that, uh, I, uh, it, it is right that uh, I have so much chance to uh, collect and bring the rice in absence of every family member of my family but I can't do this in the absence of God because the God is uh, everywhere. Uh, he is uh, seeing us in every situation. Um, so by this incident Vivekananda proved the existence of God in every places and the second fact is that um, Vivekananda uh, we, we all know that Vivekananda lost his father uh, in the, when he was completing his BA examination. Before that, uh, he, his life was so glorious and they were so rich. Uh, but af after the death of his, God, uh, the, the, the death of his father, uh, their family collapsed. So, uh, there are they are, uh, they are 
there was so much uh, shortage of food in their family so many of the times vivekananda told their family member told his family member that i have an invitation from my friends uh, for uh, from my friend and he went to a uh, went to the friend's house on any other occasions um, by that he was uh, uh, he was um, ensuring that every uh, other family member of his family uh, except him can uh, eat the food properly so he sacrificed his food uh, for his other family members that's a rare thing which we can't see in the tourist society that's all sir dik karo bhuli da so we have heard so many rare and interesting fact happened with the great monk swami vivekananda so let me tell a few swami vivekananda was born on 12th january in the year 18 63 just before the just 6 minute before the sunrise at 6 hour 33 minutes 33 second after his birth his family member wanted to keep his name durga das but his mother was not agreeable because before her before his birth her mother dreamed lord shiva and she wanted to keep his name birashwar although his official name was narendra nath dutt in his childhood when swami vivekananda was angry his mother poured cold water on his head and told the name of shivo lord shivo so it is one thing vivekananda was very spirited boy in his childhood and vivekananda was very mediocre student and he never read carefully in his life but he was having unique concentration power you know various story about concentration in the classroom he would talk to all the friends but whatever the teacher was teaching he could tell clearly that means he could concentrate at a time two or three matter on two or three matter once vivekananda was going beside a pond or river i think i don't think so whether it was pond or river some army people were trying to hit the excel with their gun but all the time they were proving failure so we just stopped and requested them that if they could give the gun he could try they smiled at swami ji and told you are a monk how will it be possible for you swami ji told just i want to try and swami ji took the gun and all the time he aimed he hit perfectly then the army people were very much amazed in it and they they wanted to know the secret they blamed they put blame on swami vivekananda that you are lying you are not a ordinary person we have not told them no i am a simple person just there is a secret which i am having you are lacking so what is the secret that is the concentration power so another incident we were on the love to eat tea very much so in the belur mot he planted tree plant so he made tree plantation in a plot of land someone put case in the chinsura court that the they we were got that the someone planted tree in the mot and it is against the rules norms of the mot 
then sai then saheb came one day riding horse and wanted to know who the person was who planted the tree plant vivekananda came very boldly and told that he was the person who planted the tree then saheb asked why vivekananda put a question that don't you drink tea sat told positively yes vivekananda told so i also want to drink tea then sahib became speechless and the case was withdrawn after the death of the vivekananda's uncle vivekananda's aunt drove their family out and they were in great trouble and put case it was going on till the end of the life of swami ji just before day vivekananda understood that he was going to die and he didn't want to keep pending any case he took the he withdraw the case withdrew the case another incident vivekananda always used to tell that he would not live beyond 40 so vivekananda died at the age of 39 vivekananda loved khichdi very much it was the day when he returned from foreign country chicago and just at the lunch time he reached belmont and at that time the gate was closed and he knew it very well the khichdi was being served inside he knew very well nobody would come to open the gate at that time even if he shouted then he climbed the fence and jumped inside and came to the dinner table everybody was amazed how it was possible for him to come he told he did not want to miss the khichdi that's why he jumped over the friends and came it was just two years before his death after two years he died probably the year was 1900 and he died you know 1902 vivekananda was very much handsome and good looking in his youth time so many girls friend wanted to approach him but coming in front of vivekananda they could not tell their wish one day one my girlfriend told about this proposed vivekananda told them don't think such rubbish thing better go and meditate and pray to god so this was so many there are so there are so many incident you know and one day when vivekananda's mother asking vivekananda to give him a knife because she wanted to cut fruit vivekananda took the knife and the sharpened side of the knife kept in his side and the blunt side to his mother to hold his mother watched it very carefully and told vivekananda the in the near future you are going to serve the people and that happened vivekananda also did that throughout his lifetime once vivekananda <coughs> was taking lunch in library room or any other room but at first a sahib came there and he was taking lunch vivekananda entered the room and he found the sahib was taking vivekananda sat beside the sahib and started taking lunch the sahib told can you imagine a pig and a bird jointly can take lunch vivekananda told sahib then may i fly away the sahib became very much speechless the sahib had no what to tell what to tell and he got more angry and that sahib wanted to take revenge so many time but so many time proved failure 
One day I was watching homework in the class. And in the uh, Vivekananda, when he got the Vivekananda's uh, copy, he tried to re take re uh, try to take revenge, writing at the end, idiot, and sign there. And when Vivekananda got the copy and uh, saw at last that this is the thing, idiot, Vivekananda went to the side and told, Sir, sir, you have done a blunder. Uh, what I have done? You have, you have uh, signed your name, but you did not give my grade. The sir became more angry. There was nothing to tell. So this was Vivekananda. Another thing you know it very well. The Vivekananda was the only monk who took fish, mutton and everything which we have, uh, which we have already read for, even after being monk. And one day, he, in a in a mood, he was uh, he entered with such mutton and intentionally, so that other he was very not in a intentionally he, he was eating mutton and uh, uh, bread. And someone reported uh, Ramkrishna, Tabu, do you know what is going to happen? What happened? Noren, what he had done? He is taking such a meat and a bread in, in, inside the monastery. Sri Ramakrishna was a, himself a god. He smiled, he knew everywhere. Naren was uh, going to test Ramakrishna. If anything told by Ramakrishna, Naren will uh, start an argument. Then Ramakrishna uh, told them, yes, yes, let him take the meat and it, but don't try to do that. It will not be digested for you. It is only for Noren who can digest it. So it was Vivekananda. Another thing, when he joined the religious conference at Chicago, then conference was going on, Vivekananda was serving cooking biryani to serve them. So in the western country, biryani was promoted by Vivekananda along with the Vedanta. So it was the uniqueness of this great monk. So many incidents uh, uh, are uh, about Vivekananda. Vivekananda loved uh, polao. Vivekananda loved uh, fried potato. Vivekananda loved kochuri. So many things. So you cannot imagine uh, if I tell there is so many things, but that's all today. Thank you.